Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios and today we're having a look at some Kerbal Space Program multiplayer using Luna Multiplayer Mod. It's really cool, have a look at this gameplay and I'll see you at the end of the video. And that's all I have to say. You, yeah, you're losing thrust because you're using air intakes. Um, no, I'm not. I am now using give it this fire. Is, uh... These are rockets now. Look, purple, rocket. Okay, they're not purple on my screen, but that's fine. Um... <laughs> Great. Well, We're gonna well, run out of fuel. Well, well, um, okay. Well, run out of fuel. I am now well, recording, by the way, because Six. fun. Um, um, you get to make orbit for the first time in a couple. We are going a lot faster than what we were before. Um, Jesus. E yeah, we are. Uh, forty-five degree angle, please. Forty-five. Usually it's, you know, up and then angle down to 45, but we're going horizontal and then angling up to 45, but I think the same rule applies here. Just do that. <laughs> I'm gonna get 40. <laughs> I guess it'll have to do. It's just gonna take us longer to get into orbit. If I do RCS, I do RCS. 45. <laughs> You're gonna run out of RCS so quickly. We should have brought a space station Leave with us. Alone. We should have a docking port so we can turn this into a space station. Just turn the entire plane into a space station. Right, it appears I can only muster 40. Whatever. It's fine. Alright, uh, go to the map. When our apodapsis reaches 70 kilometers, we're in space. So push that to about 75, and then we can start our burn to go into circularized orbit soon. Oh, and we are not getting into 75. <laughs> yeah, we are. Nope, we are out of fuel. Why isn't it past the fuel over properly? Because uh, you didn't connect them with thing things. I know oh, they did. It, we just used more liquid fuel than we used oxidizer. That is rather depressing. Oh well, let's ride ourselves to death. That's we a shame. Start. We didn't even make it to space. Hang on, I can make reduction to this. Oh, I'm in control of it now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You've got no fuel, just like right into the. Right, Kerbals. I have Dosen Kerman, Sheffield food, Kerman, and Gradual Kerman. I want to fix that off center RCS. Oh, yes, please. I love how I am oh, just perfect. in control now. Um, hmm, we need some extra liquid fuel. Did you include parachutes? Nope. Why? It's got wheels. Give it, you know, safety and stuff. Safety and stuff? What do you want about? I could have put, I could have popped parachutes and they <laughs> could have survived. We do not do that here. They're not going to survive. No, 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 you can land it. It's just land like a normal plane. This is water. Yeah, You could have. No. Oh, I couldn't. I'm trying to stop it, but we're upside down and falling towards the ocean at a ridiculous amount of speed. This is my highly futuristic... All the Kerbals survived the landing. See, I told you you could do it. I believed in you. Yeah, nothing except for the cockpit and the back piece survived. Wait, did all the Kerbals survive? Like, the back Kerbals? Yep, the there. back Kerbals are fine. Right, well, it's fine. We can go recover them, we should do a rescue mission with boats. No, I'm just going to recover them. Well, the station's not quite correct. I hit more stage with that. One goes. Yoink. Well, what is with planes in this game and wanting to roll off of Honestly. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Oh great, all the control surfaces are fighting each other. Awesome. This is fine. 
You need more thrust, I think. More thrust. More thrust. Well, according to my thing, you're only going 0 0.5 meters per second, which is a lie. Oh yeah, I'm going 70. Like, kind of skirted down the runway, really haphazard. So when this do we get to, massive. you know, enter the air? Uh, when we get to the end of the runway. Watch out for the light bulb. Watch out for the light bulb. This thing is literally weighs nothing. It just glides. Losing speed here. I think I need some more powerful engines. Or just a lot more engines. Why are we now a uh, rocket? <laughs> because that wasn't getting us a... <laughs> this is going ridiculously fast. We're already reached Mark 2. Uh, what? <laughs> um, I want to point out that I am the vector engine and not the crew oh, capture. The, the command module that's just been launched. Why am I still in this? Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want you fly past. There we go. Oh, no, I just flew past you. Parachute deployed. Oh, let's just leave that there. Right, so I need to improve my engines. Kerbal's <laughs> got a parachute. Yeah, but you didn't let him use it. You know, the parachute's exciting too. No, it's not. I left it, I... It, is on my... it was when I left it. So you're going to see that really weird bug where it just kind of slowly floats. Uh, to define. no. It's, uh, past the deployment height. It's fine. Kerbal. It deployed, and then it starts to Kerbal. Kerbal? Kerbal died. <laughs> I didn't kill the Kerbal, he killed him. Deployed the parachute. Anyway, it's fine. I've added four more massive engines onto it. So now we're faster. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll actually make it to a decent altitude. So ET, what do you think of this? Upgrade. Two seconds. I have to land my little thing first. This is too much engine power. Ah, uh -huh, now you admit it has too much power. Oh no, no, I'm talking about the six jet engines I have. Come on, you two, get him. Please stop crashing to me. I'll just show them in there. That would be grand. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Alright, get in. Why do things drift on these runways? I hate this. I'm in. Are you in? ET? Yes. Cool. Oh yeah, this is a lot faster. Look at that speed. Oh, we are drifting really easily though. Come on, take off. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. This is the floor. This is not the floor. No, no. What? You can't say this works. <laughs> it works. Don't say it doesn't work. Whatever it is. Bad noises. Yeah, I'm seeing bad things. <laughs> How much fuel does the vector have? Not a lot. We swap it down to that much, and we're good. There's another fuel we're tank though. What's our second engine like? Not very good. Oh, we're on fire. We're obviously going fast enough, aren't we? Eject it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is fine. We were going like kinda of this way. Well, prograde, yeah. Can I point out that this is still going up? Yeah, yes you can. That's not very good. It's as far as my rocket plane went. And we'll actually land on land. Max about it for the last couple of seconds of fuel that it has. Alright, point directly up. Oh, we don't have an engine. I forgot. Point directly backwards. We will probably stop burning up at some point. <laughs> you know you can click SAS and click on retrograde, right? This is good. We have a parachute and we're going to do some science. So click EVA. <laughs> no! Poor Kerbal. This Kerbal's having like the time of their life though, honestly. I can transfer the Kerbal. You can transfer the Kerbal. That's the oh, only thing fire. I'm allowed to do. We're on fire. See, this is why we're we have fire. a heat shield. It's fine. Yeah, we have a heat shield. We're doing good. I mean, that bottom crew pod might blow up. Be on the point, though, really. No, we have a heat shield. It's fine. No. Let's turn the lights on. That's what's important. <laughs> now it just looks like they're burning inside. <laughs> <laughs> But we're fine because we have a heat shield. See? Until the heat shield burns up. Where'd the gerbil go? <laughs> you know what's brilliant? The capsule what? survived. <laughs> Obviously, that was successful. Successful test. Yeah. Can I build a rocket now? You can build a rocket. We just go I'm to space. Beat you to it. Like, I'm beat you to it. no, you're gonna join me on my rocket, and we're gonna go to space. All right. I'm gonna beat you. Um, can I just point out you're not? <laughs>
Okay, I think this is a stock rocket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my station's right. Not eject start. Not start. Not eject start. Not start. Not eject start. Not start. Woo! Oh, I don't have a parachute on the top of it. I probably need some struts as well. This thing's rather tall. Some sick fins on this thing, lads. Sick fin, sick fin. Big. Uh, if well, if you want to pop onto your launch pad, we can go up on mine, and then we can come back and go up on yours. How about that? We could even dock them together in orbit. That would be a bad idea. Well, have a look at mine. It's beautiful and it's designed like crap. Can I have a look at mine? It's designed half decently and is also not great. Oh wow, okay. Oh. It's a little bit more <coughs> elaborate than mine, but... Mine is on the other end of the thing. We're both going up at the same time. This is an incredibly bad idea. Yours is oh, faster than mine. Probably because of the six solid rocket boosters and the massive engine at the bottom. Yeah, I have a mainsail and that's it. You're going the wrong way. I don't actually care. Slowly rotate to the right. For oh, the yeah, optimal... Ah. I'll, I'll just go up this way. Straight. You're going... Uh, that's not straight either. I don't really care, to be honest. How much solid fuel do these things have? Right, I am on fire. Okay, my rocket actually didn't work that well. It just ejected like 20 boosters. Alright, so I'm at 45. What do I do now when I'm at 45? I'm at 75 kilometers. Uh, just cut your engines and wait until you enter above 70 k's, and then you can start pulling over a little bit more and oh, do I'm your. Well above 70 k. Oh. No, as in the actual craft, not your apparatus. What, the actual craft? Yeah, well over 70k. Okay. Point, like, horizontal along the same plane you're on, if you know what I mean. Like, tip over completely to horizontal, and just burn. <laughs> what, so I'm level with the planet and just burn till I get a decent orbit? Yes. Sick. It, it does still work, I remember it. Okay, cool. Can you see my orbit as well? Um... Yes, I can. You're red. Yep, that's I'm, quite cool. This is going to be a polar orbit. This is going to be a polar orbit, sick. And this is going to be a normal orbit that's a slightly higher our limit than usual. I, I'm still on my second stage. I haven't even ditched this main engine that I've had from. The first I stage. haven't ditched anything yet. <laughs> I am now I've only ditched the solid time warping. Solid okay, you might want to wait a minute before you start burning. Oh, I'm still burning. Take... Just wait until you get to the top of your orbit and then burn, because then it, like, otherwise you're gonna like, make the most like crazy orbit ever. Yeah, well, let me have my crazy orbit. Just sink to me, yeah. and you'll be in the right place. Cannot sink in unstable orbit. You might crash. <laughs> Cannot sink an unstable orbit. 
Okay, just just time warp until you get to the top of your orbit. There we go. Yeah. Well, I just went speedy up there. Right, you just hit the apple apps. Yep, now just burn horizontal. No. Prograde, just burn prograde. Just prograde, sick. Point at prograde, my rocket. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've still got a ma I've still got another massive engine to use. Okay, sick. Ditch that. Rocket. Oh. <coughs> I'm apparently orbiting Kerbin. Oh wow! Look oh, at that. Oh, I've got an orbit. You have, and this so have I. Massive orbit. It's actually a fairly round orbit. Yeah. So it's <laughs> look, look at that. that. We both have perfectly circular orbits in completely opposite planes, like ninety degrees <laughs> to each other. That is cool. That's quite cool. I, I still have um, one, two, three, four engines. <laughs> yep. How um... do you get to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're in the wrong orbit for that one. Uh... Go somewhere else then. <laughs> no, you're in the wrong orbit for pretty go. much anything. <laughs> I'll find a way. Don't you worry. Look, you could technically make it to the moon if you were very lucky. I just have to wait. Set up an encounter with the moon. The moon. Yeah, but I can do that because I'm on the same orbital plane as the moon. Yeah. You're not on the same orbital plane as the moon because you're in a polar orbit. A pretty much perfectly 90 degree polar orbit as well. Should I go somewhere or should I just like chill in orbit? How does one get to moon from here? Um, well... <laughs> Time for some fancy shit. Rotating the orbit, lads. Yeah, but rotating uh, 90 degree orbit is not easy. Like, that's why the space lot. station is in the same orbit it used to be in. <laughs> you can do it, like, if you're 30 degrees off. Maybe 40 degrees off. But if you're 90 degrees off... Don't you worry. I'll figure this out. Are you messing around with the maneuver nodes? Maybe. Okay. What's this? The moon. moon. Wait, so do I have to set it up so it's where the moon be? Okay, so... The, the moon... Yeah, so where, where it will be, not where it is now, and uh, that's quite difficult. So, it, usually it's easy, because as soon as you come around the planet, you can see the moon. <coughs> you just burn towards the moon, and you create a perfect orbit, and you head towards it. But, because of your orbit, you kind of have to guess. No, it tells me where the moon's going to be in how Yes, but... <laughs> Don't worry, E.T., I'll make it work. Look, it's feasible, but you have a lot less options than I do. That is true. However, I will make it work. No, I need not be distracted. I am time warping into the future. Oh, away from my shenanigans. <laughs> yes. How does that work if your stuff has now changed since my... Me too. Oh my Jesus, this is really hard to get right. Let's see if I can just eyeball a moon encounter. Uh, I'm just gonna like just run myself to the moon or something. I'm eyeballing a moon encounter. Eyeballing a moon encounter. I have to use my, um, because I forgot to put RCS on it, I have to use my big ass engine at the back to turn it. Well, I think I only have enough fuel to do a flyby and come back to Earth. <laughs> I have too much fuel. <laughs> I made this rocket too big. I probably have enough fuel to go to, you know, Duna. I feel like I could probably get to E. Uh, I have successfully encountered the Mun.
Max Ghost. Burn for another 30 seconds. I'm not sure if I have another 30 seconds of fuel left. It'll oh. tell you. If the thing is red, it will not work. Oh wow, I can see your orbit oh, changing in the screen. past. <laughs> I still have so much fuel left to go. I have another vector engine to burn yet. I also have a nuclear engine because that's sick efficiency. I have just enough fuel to make that. Your orbit is insanity. What are you shooting for? I think I'm just gonna like send myself into deep space. Am I allowed to do that? Um. <laughs> Can I send myself into deep space? Well, I have now got myself a little space station orbiting the moon. I'm going into deep space. Okay then. Enjoy that. Good luck coming back. Hi. I'm not coming back. This guy's going to space forever. Actually, I'm just going to point him at the sun. Have fun. Right, so how long is it going to be to have committed? Um, do I have an orbit around the sun? <laughs> yep. <coughs> See if you can Actually, my think. Orbit's pretty, my orbit's pretty close to hitting you. Um... So every now and again, I will re-encounter. That's and fine. Encounter Juno. So, put the thrust. Sink. Unstable or. It might be because you haven't left the Kerbin system yet. Like, have you left oh, the the blue one to get to the orange one yet? Uh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. Now I can warp to you. Okay, I'm synced to you now. Oh my Jesus, look at that. Look at that orbit. I collide with Kerbin every now and again. And like, I go between Kerbin and Juno. This is cool. I'm having fun. Oh, I just zoomed in on the moon. Go oh, I can see you on the moon. Yep. How cool is that? Switch to... I'm just gonna make him spin. Can I deorbit you? No. Why? Because I'm in control. I feel like ejecting. No. No. What? Don't you dare. What? Don't you dare what? What? I I saw staging. <laughs> oh, your science is open. What, PT? Mm-hmm. Oh. Unfortunately, I cannot EVA your purple. Can I activate one solid drop? Uh, you can't right now. Just one solid rocket booster. Uh, just sink to me quickly. Oh, you're warping. Whoa! We, we needed power. Ah, cool. Apparently we still don't have power. What's going on here? You're in the sun. We've got like really bad snail, that's the word. I'm like 200 meters away, stop crying. Yeah, last time you took like three days to get to me. Yeah, but last time I was like using parachutes. This time I'm landing with like thrust. Are you the crew coming to join? So, did you see how smooth that landing was? Yes, it was decent. See how smooth that was? Alright, now we activate that engine. Press Z. And we go there. Whoa, I'm looking at your car that's on fire flowing towards the ground. That test um, was fine, you know. 
On my screen, your thing just exploded. Oh, what? It's not a parachute. Uh, feel free to like sink to me. It's still warping. Stop warping, game. There we are. Sink it. Cool. Let's get the swap now. No. Your rocket. <sighs> my what? Your veto almost hit the rocket. Did it? Very almost. Like it was on the pad for a second. Oh. <laughs> That's a fun rocket. It's a bit. Is there a Tesla inside of those irons? A weirdly stable Tesla. Yeah. Right, we have to land this Tesla on the moon. That is the plan. I'm just like. Right click on one for your connector thing to just click the couple. Please don't. Why? It would be highly unfortunate. Would for you. If you ditch the rocket boosters, that was the big rocket on the. That's the one I use on Fire Flash, and it's probably like the best one. It is a really nice rocket, and and the new graphical model looks great. Yeah, it looks better than all the. Even the flames look better than the. New. It was all the latest the updated ones. ones. Yeah, hope they do all the flames. I'm like. I'm very, very cautiously tilting over to 45 degrees because this is the kind of thing that'll flip over and blow up. Mm -hmm. Using what atmospheric is... forces to help me. There we go. Okay. 45 degrees achieved. Space ball. I love how this is counted as a rover. Because there is a Tesla inside. I'm driving the Tesla on the moon. <sighs> okay, we have reached space, which is space. nice. Well, I mean, not really. It's only 46. No, as in the, our apoapsis is in space. Alright, cool. Which I count as space. Total the rocketo. Separation complete. Rocket. 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 This should bring us into a stable orbit. I wonder how time warping works if you're not in control. I hope you can just, you know. It just teleports me to you. Okay. It, it, just, it also brings me up. I have I one small problem. Me. What? I don't have a proper probe core on this. You have the Tesla? Yeah, I don't have any maneuver node controls. Or stuff like that. How do you not have any controls? You have SAS unit. I have an yeah, it's weird. I don't have anything except for stability assist. That seems like fun. Oh yeah, well. so I have to get us there without knowing you know without being able to set prograde and retrograde. Hey, we're in a stable orbit. Are you sure SAS is engaged? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. I can make a maneuver node, but I can't, like, do anything with it. That's weird. Like, I can't set it to go to that thing. Fairing killed. We should make it. Oh, <laughs> that's glorious. Glorious space Tesla. Or does it even use it? Oh, it's using the underside of the power cells. That's cool. The power cells. Sick. So I have to manually hold maneuver node. Yeah. Oh, 
about to get an eclipse. That's cool. If I do this, that'll be really cool, because it will be the first time I've ever maneuvered a rocket without maneuvering a rocket, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I really hope this burn works, because this is the most important burn. I can press the abort button. Does your abort button even do anything? Uh, no. You don't need to orbit the moon, we just need to crash into it. Yeah, we can't crash into the moon without to... orbiting the moon first. You don't have to orbit the moon to crash into the moon. You, you kind of do. Just set it so that like you crash into them. You can't. You've got enough fuel for this. You've got like a third of your tank. Watch. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. Not plenty of fuel. And also not plenty of fuel. <laughs> no, we have a Tesla just in space. Something exploded. Whoa! The Tesla's oh kind of in a piece. <laughs> oh yeah, like, can you see it's standing now? I, I'm still in control of it. The Tesla's having a moment back there. Oh, the Tesla just drove away in space. Bye Tesla. Oh my god. Yeah, this Tesla is not. It's an orbit of the moon! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Don't crush it into the. Oh, you're just gonna leave it here. Should I just leave. Oh, look at the amount of debris I've left in orbit. <laughs> yeah. Press M. The amount of micro pieces. And they all are pr they're all probe cores as well. Why why is there so many probe cores? I don't know. So I could we, technically we have, like a car builder. Like No, because I, I didn't car, build this. Have, like, <laughs> no no but we have to build our own car. Yeah, but to, like, I can't build anything. Kill, kill each other by running each other over. Well, you can't even build a, a thing that plane. Yeah, but a plane's a lot harder than a car. <sighs> Should I crash this into the moon, or are we leaving it in orbit? Uh, what's better? Symbolic you orbit? Land it on the moon. We, we can't, we don't have enough fuel to land it, no. We don't have enough fuel to land it, we'll just leave it in space. Then. The fact that we got here is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> orbit in the moon. Someone's gonna look in the map and see all of these stray satellites and be like, what? What happened there? And then we're gonna find the Tesla. Shall like, we go oh, to Minmus? Minmus. What? The second moon. It won't even close, I have to use Task Manager. Did you actually try and launch it? No, I just loaded that's even hanging. worse. <laughs> it never crashes when it's actually launched. It hasn't once crashed when it's launched. It crashes whenever the game, like, whenever it's in the bloody thing. Looks like I might actually be able to take off this time. And everyone can look at the magnificence that is the Falcon. 
Right, I'd love it if Task Manager would hit less a millionth of a second to work. Okay, so you're using one gigabyte of RAM. That's not very much. No, but Discord's using half a gigabyte, so... Can I just point out that this multiplayer mod is incredibly cool? Is incredibly what? Cool. Yeah, it works, which is weird. Um, hopefully, actual KSP2 will do it better, though. Well, I can't imagine it being much different from this, where you have to sync to people who time warp and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, unless unless the time warp is less like time warp, I just or like the time only affects the chip you know, rather than affecting the chip. No, but then that wouldn't work, would it? Because Orbits. all the planets have to move. Yeah. All the planets and everything else have to move. So it just has to be a... Maybe it just like auto... Maybe it would be set to auto-sync. So there we have it. That's Looney Multiplayer for you. There will be a link in the description to the mod page where you can download this. It's actually really simple even to set up your own server and have some friends play along. And if you want to join us, join the Discord server below and we do do this fairly often so you can join us in our KSP Multiplayer fun and it should be really interesting. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. It's a bit different from my usual style of content but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you everyone for watching and goodbye.